Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here. Today I'll be doing some technical analysis and also a price prediction on Algo or Algorand. If you'd like to make up to $1,000 for free in bonuses, just join the Mexi Global link in the description. Also, if you would like to access my 75% win rate automated trading bot, just join the Patreon link in the description below. Okay, so we're starting off here on Algo versus USDT on the one day chart. And taking a look at this, even if we are to turn on our 200 moving average there as well, that is sitting at around 35 and a half cents there. We did come up, have a slight deviation above that. Then unfortunately, we did manage to reject off these previous highs. We did obviously get that daily close above that. Then we did come down here, bearish retest, which is what pushed us the whole way down to lose this trend line and actually the whole way down towards new lows. Obviously, it was to do with the FTX news. I would say if you are in crypto, you have heard about that. It's a huge mess that Sam made and hopefully it does sort itself out. But as we can see, Algo has lost this more macro support that I did have marked up from back here. And when we did actually lose that, we came down, made new lows. Then we did just sort of play in and around this level with a good few deviations below it. We came back up, flipped it back to support, then got a push up towards here. And now we have got sold off here and now we are getting our bearish retests on this level at around 28 cents. So we've wicked into that the past three days. We haven't managed to get any daily closes above it, but taking a look at our current daily candle, we are currently testing it right now, as well as our 8 EMA there. So I would say if we do manage to get our clues above the 8 EMA as well as this level here, we can come and hold this as support hopefully, obviously giving us our higher low compared to back here. And then the next sort of target would be around this horizontal level, which is those range lows. Even if we drop back towards the 8 hour here and take a look at this, the chart is a little bit messy for me trading this on lower time frames. But I would say if we do manage to push up towards this level, obviously our EMA will be around there. We could see a rejection off that come back down, maybe hold this level, make a double bottom there, and then hopefully give this another run, flipping it back to support. If this does manage to happen, obviously this EMA will come around and be fairly confident with our horizontal level there. And then hopefully we can start grinding on up. Now, if we do manage to push up towards this trend line, I would say that a rejection off this could be on the cards. Maybe come back down towards here, come up here, get that bearish retest and then continue on down. It really does just depend on BTC right now. If it can push up towards 19K and then flip that level, $19,200, I think it is to support, then I would say that the bottom could definitely be in if the regular markets can't hold. Obviously, if BTC does start to sort of just trend on down, maybe towards 14K or even that 11.8K mark that I have been talking about for a good while, obviously, Algo will be coming down here and continuing to make new lows. For that, we could actually take a fib here and see where this could be going. If we take even that as our low, just take this line as a deviation and bring the fib up towards that previous high. To the downside, we could take a look at a few of these levels. So obviously our 1.25 there is confluent with that weekly support that I do have marked up there at around 19.8 cents. I would honestly say that this is a good level for you to be placing yourself some long-term buy orders. Now we could come down here, maybe various retest on this, and then push down towards this 1.382 before coming back up, actually regaining this and then pushing on up. As I said, it really does just depend on BTC, but if BTC pushes to around 14K, I would say this is a good level to place yourself some buys on Algo. And if BTC actually continues down towards 11K, then I would say you should be laddering your buy orders down towards this 1.618 at around 12 and a half cents. Now to the upside, say we do manage to sort of bottom out here and I'll actually clean this chart up a little. So say we do manage to bottom out here, come up, regain this level as support. You are looking at these FIB levels here. Obviously, we've got the 382 down to the 618 there, which is also confident with a few horizontal levels that I have marked up. Now, if we do manage to come in towards these levels and flip them to support, obviously, we do need to break this trend line as well. But if we do manage to do so and then hold this 382, then I would say we will be giving these range highs another go at around 36 cents. Now, if we do manage to actually hold this breakout, flip this level to support, obviously this was just a deviation we did get sold off there. But if we actually manage to properly hold this, I would say that you could easily be targeting this level here at around 50 cents. Now, even if we are to flip this fib around and run it from the top down to the bottom, our 1.25 is fairly confident as well as our 382 with this level that I have marked up here. So if we do manage to get a squeeze towards the upside, these are the places that I would be putting your sell orders at. So around 50 cents there, maybe up towards 58 cents. And then to the downside, I'd be placing your buy orders from around 20 cents there 
down towards 12 cents. Now having a look at the BTC pair here on the daily, as you can see, we are currently holding that 200 moving average there. We managed to break above it on the 19th of September. And since then we have been getting some nice reactions to it. Obviously we came down here and tested it, which did push us up here towards a slightly new high there, but it was a bearish divergence. Having a look here at your RSI. And we did manage to come up here to these bands and wick into it a little there. So we were overbought. This is why we did sell off back towards this 200 moving average. Even if we take a fib from this low up towards that high, you can see there that we did manage to hold that 786. We didn't get any closes below it, obviously, as well as that 200 moving average. And now we are moving back above this 618. So I would say realistically for this, if we do manage to close above this level, we can maybe hold this as support, come up, test the 0 0.5, maybe a rejection off, holding a higher low compared to there. If we do manage to climb through these levels, hold this 382 support, then I would say that we will definitely be testing this previous high there at around 2,100 sats. Now, if we do manage to get up towards here, we maybe will reject off that, but we will be holding a higher low compared to here, holding this maybe down towards the 0 0.5 there, push them back on up here. And if we do manage to get the breakout and hold the retest, then I would say for, I'll go here, if we actually swap our fib round here and go from the high to our low. So having a look at that, a few fib extensions there on this pair, you could be in your sell orders from around 2300 sats there up towards 2500 sats. And then to the lower side, if BTC does manage to collapse and alts do fall harder, obviously we may come down here, get the bearish retest on this 382, pushing down, losing this 786, getting that bearish retest there. And that would probably at least push us down towards these previous lows. Now, if we do manage to lose these levels, then a few buy orders that you could be setting. I honestly would put some there at around 1,400 sats there, as we should at least get a nice bounce from that level. But if we don't manage to do so, the bears are in control. We come down here, get that bearish retest then I would say that you could be laddering your buy orders down from this 1.25 there at around 1,200 sats down towards your 1.618 there at around 975 sats. So having a look at Algo here on CoinMarketCap, we're currently sitting at rank number 27. We're at 28.6 cents. We're up 7.87% there in the last 24 hours. Our market cap is 2.02 billion. Our circulating supply is 7.11 billion and that is 71% of our max supply, which is 10 billion. Now, if we move down here, our all-time high is currently sitting at around $3.28, and that was on June 21st, 2019, and we are currently down 91.28% from those highs. Now, if you want to do a small read, you can have a read through coin market caps right up here. Just pause the video, or if you would like to do a little bit more fundamental research, you can move on up here to their website, which is algorand.foundation or algorand.com. If you do come over here, you'll find out everything that you need to know to help you make your decision on whether you would actually like to invest in this. So if you do come over here, figure that you do actually want to pick yourself some up, then you can move back on over to CoinMarketCap, click on markets, and this will show you where you can actually do so. Now, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.